Welcome to motivation. At hand, ma, to know is to know how. Make your foot the foot that counts. Healthcare and service workers at URMC. To strike December 13th, 2023. Over living wages and quality benefits. Unions representing patient caregivers and service workers at URMC. Issue 10-day notice for strike at largest private sector employer in upstate New York. Thursday, November 30th, 2023. New York State Assembly member Demond Meeks and Rochester City Council leaders call on URMC to pay its workers a living wage. Caregivers and service workers demand living wage and quality comprehensive benefits to help retain and recruit more workers at largest private sector employer in state and to uplift some workers out of poverty. Unions claim URMC violated federal labor laws and today filed unfair labor practice charges with the National Labor Relations Board. Rochester, New York. Today, the two unions representing caregivers and service workers at University of Rochester Medical Center's URMC Strong Memorial Hospital and River Campus issued a 10-day notice for a strike Wednesday, December 13th, 20th, 23 from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. In a near unanimous vote last week, 99% of voting members were in favor of a calling the strike. A strike this holiday season will cost URMC, the largest private sector employer in upstate, a great deal of money. Following multiple extensions, the contract covering URMC patient caregivers and service workers expired October 31st, 2023. As tensions continued to escalate, Workers held a massive informational picket and rally on November 13th and a strike authorization vote on November 21st. To date, two unions have been negotiating on behalf of 1,800 workers since late August 8th, 2022. Caregivers and service workers are fighting for a fair contract that includes fair living wage increases, uplifting some out of poverty and a quality comprehensive benefits package to help recruit and retain more workers to help with staffing issues. Bedside caregivers and patient service workers at URMC's Strong Memorial Hospital are represented by 1199 CU United Healthcare Workers East. Service workers at URMC's River Campus are represented by SEIU Local 200 United. In a signed letter to University of Rochester, President Sarah Mangelsdorf, Rochester City Council members said, Amid growing shortages and consistently full capacities at hospitals, our community cannot afford to lose these crucial team members due to insufficient wages and benefits. The sacrifices and hard work of our frontline employees deserve to be adequately compensated with a wage that reflects the rising cost of living, said New York State Assembly member Demond Meeks. I continue to urge the University of Rochester Medical Center, 1199 SEIU United Healthcare Workers, East and 200 United CIU, to work collaboratively to settle a fair contract that recognizes the invaluable service of its many essential workers. Our largest employers have the responsibility to take the lead on providing living wages for our residents and families, said Meeks. Today, the unions filed unfair labor practice charges with the National Labor Relations Board, claiming that URMC violated federal labor laws when they failed to bargain in good faith. This employer failed its workers and our community by not returning with a counter-proposal today. Their failure to bargain in good faith has forced us to issue the 10-day notice. Beyond the money, it's a matter of respect for the workers who provide health care 
and student services to this community, said Tracy Harrison, 1199, SEIU Vice President. It feels like they want us to work more for less money, said Dana Allison, patient care technician at URMC's Strong Memorial Hospital. My job requires patience and understanding to provide care for the patients as they recover from surgery. Many people come in and they are nervous about their procedure, and I reassure them and their family, but sometimes if we are short that special attention can't be given because we have so many other tasks to complete to keep surgeries flowing for the day, said Allison. To date, both sides held 30 day-long bargaining sessions, only agreeing to non-economics. 11.99, Seiyu, Seiyu Locale 200 and URMC are at odds over living wages. As the largest private sector employer in upstate and the sixth largest in the state, URMC has a responsibility to pay workers a living wage and to uplift its workers from poverty as URMC and its hospitals seek accreditation from. The rents in the city are so high. I went from paying $800 per month to $1,200 per month, and it takes a full month's worth of paychecks, said Julie Klopp, courier for clinical labs. After rent is paid, I have only a little left to pay other bills and to eat. Right now, I work full time, but I live paycheck to paycheck, and I worry if I have enough food to eat, said Klopp. Staffing concerns are an issue at URMC's Strong Memorial Hospital. As a level one trauma center, proper staffing is key to quality care and timely services for patients. Without living wages and benefits, it is very difficult to recruit staff to fill vacancies and to keep workers there. Working short in our department causes a lot of tension because we can't do our jobs providing the quality care we want to give, said Arliata Robin White, patient care technician at URMC's Strong Memorial Hospital. The labor dispute at URMC, Rochester's largest employer, is not the first in the area. The public labor dispute with URMC comes as nurses at Rochester General. Recently ratified a 42-month agreement, averting a second strike over wages and staffing. More recently, URMC graduate workers joined a growing trend across the country to begin organizing to form their union. As a graduate worker at University of Rochester, I have faced serious financial uncertainty, said Justin Grossman, Graduate Student Association President. I've struggled to pay my bills and at one point didn't even know if I was going to be able to keep my apartment. That's why we are joining with campus workers from CIU to demand increased wages and union rights for all, said Grossman. Workers represented by CIU Local 200 United at the University of Rochester include building services, dining services, porters, cooks, stack attendants, library, catering service assistants, bus drivers, truck drivers, and stock keepers, patient caregivers and service workers represented by 1199 SEU at Strong Memorial Hospital include environmental service workers, nursing assistants, cooks, food service workers, dietary workers, dental assistants, drivers, patient care technicians, materials processing specialists, patient unity secretaries, porters, stock keepers, transport assistants, transportation center workers, truck drivers, and unit support assistants. On background, a family of three with one child, where both adults are working, must earn $19.16 per hour or more to earn a living wage in Monroe County. At URMC, the state's sixth largest employer and the largest employer in Rochester, hundreds of caregivers and service workers are earning considerably less, while top leaders are earning millions. University of Rochester must do better by its workers to provide a living wage that 
helps to recruit and retain workers into sustainable long-term healthcare jobs amid shortages across the state. URMC leaders must factor in the cost of healthcare, transportation, childcare, and other needs. Workers must have in place to maintain their employment and care for their families. Care team workers who ensure the health and safety of patients and students in our community. Earning less than a living wage include nursing assistants, environmental service workers, cashiers, caterers, food service workers, and nutrition assistants. URMC has spent millions purchasing buildings and increasing salaries for its top leaders as caregivers and service workers fight for a living wage. Since 2020, University of Rochester and its affiliates have invested more than $74 million in real estate purchases, including College Town. In 2021, during the COVID pandemic, URMC's top leaders earned sizable salaries ranging from $543 to $3.3 million per year, including deferred compensation. It's time that URMC invest in workers who provide the care and services that keep our hospital and campus community healthy. With top leaders earning so much, even the lowest paid worker at URMC deserves to earn a living wage that allows them to provide for themselves and their families. As a 34-year employee, I want to feel respected for the hard work we do, said Wendell Broadhurst, environmental services work leader at URMC's River Campus. It's time that all workers get the dignity and respect they deserve on the job, and we won't settle for less, said Broadhurst. In October, members from both labor unions participated in Meliora weekend events to let the public know about their contract dispute. Hundreds of URMC alumni and supporters signed an online public petition demanding that URMC agree to a fair contract settlement for its workers. Source, press release from Healthcare and Service Workers at URMC to strike December 13th over living wages and quality benefits. Dated November 30th, 2023. End of press release. Much appreciation to you for giving of your time with us at Motivation at Hand. To know is to know how. We trust you will come back soon.